Hey guys, it is Vivids and welcome back to another episode of The Prime. Now this is going to be the third episode of The Prime series that I'm currently doing on YouTube. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of things that I'm going to be doing, um, you know, in this episode, well perhaps in this episode, a couple of goals that I'm going to be setting, um, obviously, for this episode. So a couple of things just to begin with. Um, well, obviously, I'm here at the Lunar Island, and the reason being is because, as you see, I've got eight, 80 Battle Staffs in my in inventory, and that's because I've just been at Varrock, and I just went to the Battle Staff Trader, um, just to the west of the Varrock Square, and I bought my 80 Battle Staffs, because I believe that's an instant 100k uh, profit, and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be buying the Battle Staffs from uh, Baba Yaga as well, I'm not actually sure how to buy them, there's only 20 here, but every day I'm going to be picking up uh, 100 battle staffs, so that's going to be a little bit of profit, and I'm going to be accumulating those battle staffs um, over a long period of time, and I'm going to quickly show you guys how many I've got at this stage, and a couple of a couple of other dailies that I'm going to be starting from now is, I'm going to be doing the daily potion flask, I'm going to show you guys how many potion flasks I currently have, so if I have a little look uh, over here, I currently have 230 potion flasks, so this is going to be the beginning sort of uh, landmark. I'm showing you guys how many potion flasks I get, and obviously each day you can get 50, I believe it's 50 potion flasks, you just go mine the robust glass, no, you, you mine the redstone ore, I think it's called, and then you make the robust glass, and then you make the potion flasks out of that, and I'm going to be doing that every day, and uh, I currently have 980 battle stars as well, I'm going to be building that up. Um, up over the majority of the series, and then as we get closer to the finishing of this series, I'm going to be uh, selling all of those, see how much profit I make from that, and if we have a little look, uh, what else was going to show you guys? So, I'm going to show you guys a couple of other things, like a couple of dailies and things like that. So, like I just said in the previous clip, one of the things I'm going to be doing um, every day is the robust glass, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be... Um if I'm going to be making the vials um, straight away, if I'm just going to be collecting the robust glass, I think I may as well just make them into glass straight away. I think that's going to be the most uh, the most effective way to go about doing this, but I guess I'll um, get back to you soon. And it's been lovely knowing you, my Gilded Pickaxe. I've always been able to sell you, but now, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to add you to the tool belt so you can be with me forever. Add my pickaxe to the tool belt. Add and you cannot remove your dragon pickaxe from the tool. <sighs> Let's add it. Let's add it. There we go. So now I don't actually have to pick my pick out. Is it gilded? Yes, it's gilded and it's in my tool belt. Yeah. Okay. I've never got something that, uh, I've never got a mission that actually has this much stuff as a reward. That's 50 lacquer, 50 plate, 11 story progress, whatever that means, and three different story missions in one. If I succeed this, that's full Tetsu achieved and pretty much full... Is Lacquer for, um... I'm pretty sure Lacquer is for the magic gear, which is... I don't even know. Oh, well, but that's going to be a lot of resources gained if I succeed this. So all those times when ports have been rubbish to me, when I've been trying to get the Reforker scroll, yeah, you know that mission that I uh, showed you a few clips ago? When I had like 50 or oh, 50 lacquer, 50 plate, and all the story missions and crap, yeah, it passed. And let's just go over here to the anvil, shall we? And let's make us some untradeable superior tetsu legs, yeah. Oh, let me just get out the full set, man. Look at this. Where's tetsu? Oh, there we go. There we go. Full Tetsu, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, let's have a little look at what else we can get. Untradeable range gear. <coughs> oh, need more scrolls. <sighs> so when I've been streaming, I've had a few people tell me in the Twitch chat that I can change my spellbook really effectively with a Wicked Pouch. Now, generally what I would do is I would... To get on age, to get on lunar, to get onto the lunar spellbook, I can't even speak. I would use either the lunar home teleport, or I, or I would use the wicked, the wicked hood just to teleport straight to the altar. But people have told me I could buy a wicked pouch for twenty thousand loyalty points off the loyalty uh, shop, and that's what I've done. And I've also charged it with ten thousand earthridge, which cost me um one hundred and twenty k. But for the convenience, it's definitely worth it. And you can switch your prayers and your curse book. And I didn't actually know about this. I'm sure this has been out for a long time. Um. But I've got to be in a bank to switch. So let me just try. I've never done it before, so I'm going to quickly try it and see what we can do with it. So let me switch my prayer book real. Okay. So my standard... Oh, crap. Switch to ancient curses. Alright, let's switch to ancient curses. 
Okay, so that's curses. Now, I'm not sh quite sure how to switch my... Sp oh, there we go. Prayer slash curses. That's the wrong one. Switch the spell book. Um, so look at this. I can change to the standard ancients, or yeah, the standard or ancient spell book just at the cost of 150 energy. How sick is that? Look at this. You know, it takes up next to no runes at all, and it's just so convenient. So thanks so much for you guys um, for letting me know about that in the um, in the Twitch chat. I really do appreciate it, and this is definitely a uh, good investment of uh, 20,000 loyalty points. Uh, so that's basically all I have for you guys in episode 3 of the Prime. Um, if you guys have any other goals that you think I should be going for, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're enjoying the series, let, let me know with a like rating. Um, but I do prefer comments, so make sure you leave me some... Um Leave me some constructive comments in the uh, in the section below in the well in the comment section below if you guys have anything to add. Um, apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.